Hi friends, I'm Joshua. Uh, honestly, I'm a bit under the weather today. Feeling not so crash hot, uh, a little sorry for myself, but we have to persevere, still gotta eat. I'm feeling a little crappy, so I want some comfort food today. I can't speak to the cultural authenticity of these meatballs, but this is how I've been making them for years, with a few tweaks here and there along the way. Before I get on with the recipe, I have a little thing I want to share. My birthday is actually uh, only a few weeks away. I decided to capitalize on that this year just to try and get some better equipment uh, to record these videos. In particular, I really want a proper microphone, but those cost hundreds of dollars out of my budget right now. I'll put a link to the fundraiser in the description, but if you're able to help out even in small ways, I'll be incredibly appreciative of it. And you're helping to support this channel, you're helping to help me improve my content, uh, and I'm really grateful for it. So the meatballs might not be exactly what you'll find in Italy, but the sauce I'm making today is a slightly modified version of the famous Marcella Hazan uh, tomato sauce that you've no doubt heard of. It gets famous on the internet every few years. The only difference when I do it is that I blend the onion into the sauce. You're cooking it for nearly an hour, why waste that onion? So because the sauce takes the longest, I'm gonna get started on that first. The sauce needs two cans of whole peeled tomato, 70 grams of butter, one small white onion cut in half. For the meatballs, we're gonna need 500 grams of pork mince, 500 grams of beef mince, 250 grams of panko breadcrumbs, two eggs, about 80 grams of Parmesan, two tablespoons of fennel seeds, one onion, five or six garlic cloves, half a cup of parsley, half a cup of basil, two tablespoons of olive oil, and a good grind of salt and pepper. I've already mise en place myself a little bit, uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna get the oven going first. That goes on 190 fan forced. So the sauce is really simple to do. You just get the two cans of tomato in. In goes the onion. In goes all of that butter. And give it a good grind of salt. Give that a stir. The stove top starts on high, but as soon as the sauce starts to bubble, we're gonna turn it to low, and that's gonna cook for about 45 minutes. And I'll get things going for the meatballs. I've got a bowl. I'm just gonna throw in the mince first. And to make my life easier, the rest of the ingredients are gonna go into the food processor. The garlic, Parmesan, onion, fennel seeds. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of olive oil into the food processor and then I'm gonna put one tablespoon of olive oil in with the mince right now. Then our parsley and basil. Because this is just going into the food processor, I'm just gonna rip chunks off. The sauce is bubbling away. Um, so now I'm gonna reduce the heat to medium low and let this simmer for 45 minutes. As that simmers, we're gonna be stirring it every 10, 15 minutes or so. Then in goes the basil. And then we have the paste for the meatballs. So before I do anything else with the meatballs, I have an oven safe baking dish. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil in the bottom of it and spread that around. I don't actually like to pan fry meatballs. I prefer to bake them in the oven. It's less for me to do. They're slightly healthier than shallow frying. And then we're about ready to go. I'm gonna take the eggs and the panko. I'm gonna put most of the panko, maybe about two thirds of it in, and then I'm gonna save the rest just depending on whether or not the mixture is too wet or too dry. And then in we're gonna crack the eggs. And then this all starts to get incorporated together. So I can already tell that this mixture is going to be on the wet side and I'm gonna add the rest of the panko now. This mixture will be on the wet side regardless. Um, that helps it keep its moisture. And then you just start making the meatballs. I like to make them a little large, maybe just on your golf ball size, but you can choose whatever size you like.
Let me fit three more in. Will three more be enough to finish off this mince? Okay, there we go. Epic amount of meatballs. I'm gonna wash up, and then those are gonna go in the oven. Epic meatballs. So these are gonna go in the oven now. The sauce itself has about half an hour to finish, so those are gonna stay in there until the sauce is done. And halfway through, I'm going to flip them and rotate the meatballs around. The sauce is bubbling away. That'll go on for another 30 minutes or so. So there's nothing else to do right now except wait for everything to finish cooking. So the sauces have been cooking for about 15 minutes. The meatballs have been in the oven for about 15 minutes, so it's about halfway finished. The sauce has reduced. It's thickening up the way we want it to. As I've been letting it cook, I've been separating the um, onion slices. At the end of the cooking process, I will take an immersion blender and just puree everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate these. They're getting some nice browning on top, but I wanna make sure everything cooks evenly. And you would not believe how good the apartment smells right now. Okay, that's gonna go back in the oven. And that's gonna cook for another 15. While this finishes cooking, I'm just gonna get some parsley to go on top once the dish is done. And I'm just gonna give this a rough chop. So the last five minutes of cooking, I'm gonna crank the heat all the way up to the top. Just get that on the grill, because I want the top of the meatballs to kind of char, get dark, get blackened. There's already some really lovely color, but I want the top to be even and nice and blackened. The sauce is looking great. I'm just gonna give this a puree now. This is also where I think I have slightly too large a pot for this. We will see. Just gonna puree this now. Definitely too big of a pot. Don't judge me, my apartment has high shelves. Gorgeous. And the meatballs look great. Just gonna get the heat off. You would not believe just from the handful of ingredients that went into that how amazing that tastes. Ugh, amazing. Let's do four meatballs. It's dinner time. Got a drizzle of the sauce. Ah, Parmesan. and then a bit of parsley on top. And there we go. Epic meatballs, an incredible sauce that takes no ingredients whatsoever, just a little bit of patience. Enjoy.
This is incredible. The meatballs are moist, paired with that sausage, just amazing. And you have heaps of them left over. So good. Thank you again for watching. If you like this video, please do the YouTube things, like, subscribe, comment, give me feedback, things you wanna see more of, the recipe ideas, stuff you want me to cook. Um, please consider contributing to my birthday fundraiser if you are able to, or just help me get the word out. That's a great birthday present as well. Enjoy your evenings wherever you are in the world. Hopefully you feel better than I do. Good night.